I have power, then it goes out, then I have power, then it goes out. Ann Steele was shocked when she stepped outside her Farmington home Wednesday morning. That's when it all came mm -hmm. down. Okay, there we I go. had to <laughs> back out from the power line because it hit the vehicle, so I was back yeah. and get away from it and uh, here came the tree okay, and everything. Crews spent most of their day out here cleaning up. That includes areas just like this. This is just one example of a tree that was knocked down from the weight of the snow, sending it into a power line, leaving some homes without power. The Farmington Fire Department tells us they received at least two dozen calls Wednesday morning of knocked down trees, power lines and cable lines. It's about time we get some snow around here. So the kids are going to play out soon. Kids like fourth grader Brinley Burcham jumped at the chance to build her own Olaf. I got two pieces of like mulch, got like three rocks for the buttons. As the snow painted its own picture outside, other Farmington residents took the day in their own hands too. And when I come around, I saw the tree down and I was like, oh no, it hit my bench. And then I saw my bench in the background. I was like, good, I can sit down and relax. <laughs> Jason Devine chose to watch all the action from his bench. It's beautiful here. But William Zelt chose to take part in it. It's exhausting, it's tiresome, but I do take my time. It's a snow day with a pretty happy ending for Brindley Burcham. I just like to chill inside, drink some hot chocolate, and be all cozy. In Farmington, Eli Schoenig, Five on Your Side. And a reminder, you can always get the Weather First forecast sent straight to your phone. Just text the word weather to 314-425-5355.